What's up guys, Saul Specs here. I wanna do a quick guide for you guys who are kind of uncertain of how to roll maps. And so this will be sort of just a basic map guide for you. I won't really get into the details of which mods are best. Um, I will put a link, however, for a forum post. Uh, this guy has done tons of work of figuring out which mods are best. I'll put that in the, in the description for you guys just to kind of save me the breath of having to explain everything. What I will say is that as you do maps and as you play, you'll start to figure out which mods are very easy for you to do. So, for example, minus max player uh, resistance is a pretty deadly mod, but for me, really not that big a deal. And so um, I'm able to run with it on many maps. So with that said, these are the currency items you're gonna use for rolling your maps. And the maps go from level 66 all the way up to level 77. And obviously the higher the map level, the better loot that can drop. And so level 77 maps can drop 78, 77, 78, 79 gear, whereas the max of 66, uh, that a map level 66 can drop will be eye level 69 gear. So if you're trying to get the best items, obviously you'll wanna do these higher maps. And also they'll give the best experience. Now, when rolling maps, some things to think about. These currency items right here, right here, Alchemy Orb, Cartographer's Chisel, and Chaos Orb. I would never, never use any three of these on anything less than a 71 map. And the reason for that, the payout you get in terms of items uh, and other maps in, in 70 and below just doesn't really match up. It's too much of a gamble, too much of a risk to gain back what you spend. If you're trying to be safe and try to maintain your wealth, I would not use any of these items on anything less than 71. For 66 to 69, what you'll use is these three items, the trans transmutations, the alterations, and the augmentations. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of maps here. I've actually, I actually had quite a bit more until I died in Nemesis and I sold most of my maps away. I had about six 77s that I all sold off and now I have, I think I have, uh, one, I have two now. So I was able to build this map base in about a week, just doing some very simple steps in rolling your maps. First of all, the 66 to 69 maps, what you'll do is you use a transmutation orb, then you'll augment it. This right here is an extremely easy map. And the big thing you want to consider when rolling these maps is you want to shoot for a quantity of 30% or higher. Uh, when I was a little lower level and I was having to be a little bit more careful in, in our hardcore mode in the Nemesis League, uh, I was rolling about 30 to 35%. Uh, now I don't roll anything less than 35%. I try to get 40. Uh, anything over 40 is great for me. This one's 45%. Temporal change is kind of a pain, but not a big deal. The extra projectiles is a joke. The reason you're rolling these maps with uh, higher than 30% quantity is because the quantity bonus affects future map drops, which is what you're trying to build. You're trying to get to the 77 point. Uh, pretty much whenever you see a 77 map, you need to see a bunch of dollar signs floating around it because there are people who will buy these maps for a lot of money. There's people who will spend a lot of money. We're talking five to 10 chaos uh, just to be in the party with you as you're in the map. So the fastest you can get to 77 uh, 77 maps, the better off that you are, okay? So with that said, this map is easy to roll, no problem. Uh, I'll do another one, this is a 69 map, burning ground. So this is a 29%, I don't like it, I think it's a waste. Reroll it, 20%. This is a great map, very easy, not a problem. Again, this may seem kind of intimidating, but um, once you learn the mobs, uh, excuse me, the mods, you'll see that they aren't too bad. Increased monster damage, really not a big deal knowing this map. Um, and then the uh, life regen nerf, uh, that is pretty annoying. And you do want to think about your clear speed. If, if a map takes you 30 minutes to clear, you need to reroll the mods. But this one is going to slow me down a little bit, but overall, not a big deal. But let's say, you know what, I don't like that degen, and I want to reroll it again. I'll use my alterations. Okay, I don't like chain. I don't like that. I really don't like that. There we go. So they reflect elemental damage and I take more physical damage. So again, this is one to be a little bit a little bit more careful in, but certainly not too difficult at all. So once you've rolled your maps and you've built your map base up, and I like to organize mine by level, and you start getting into the 70s, when you get to 71, you should start using your cartographer's chisels. Okay? You want to use four, and I would never pay uh less than three, uh, I, I usually do probably uh, three chisels per chaos. You can find people who do four per chaos. You'll chisel it first, then you'll alk it. 
Um, and if you don't like the mods, you can uh, chaos it. With that said, some people like to regal maps. Don't regal maps, it's a waste of currency. Uh, you only end up with three mods. I would just always alk it and then chaos it if you need to. Uh, now earlier with the rare maps, you were looking at 30% or greater. For these, you really want 80% or greater. Uh, this one, this map right here, this is extremely easy. Uh, chill ground doesn't affect me. The, re the reflect, I have uh, quite a bit of life steal and mana leech. Um, I don't even know why I said mana leech, it doesn't affect it at all. Um, I have quite a bit of life steal, so this doesn't bother me. The extra damage is kind of annoying, but I'm capped on lightning resistance, so not a big deal. And you know what? It is 79%, but close to 80. That's good to go. Uh, this one, I'm going to put this aside because I actually added chisels. Shipyard. This might be the easiest, best map in the game. I'll alk it. And let's look at this. Players have Blood Magic and Shocking Ground. These are two awful, awful mods. In fact, Shocking Ground I would never run, ever. You know, again, I'm not going to get really too into detail on the mods that you should and shouldn't run, but I'll go ahead and tell you that those two are terrible. And also you'll notice more Magic Monsters. There are three mods that do not affect quantity but are good to have. And it's kind of just a balance of um, not sacrificing too much quantity to use them. And that's Magic Monsters, uh, Pack Size, which is just bigger monster packs, and Rare Mobs, uh, Rare Monsters. Those are all good to have on your mods as well. So obviously I don't like this. I'm going to use a Chaos. Now, be careful here because you don't want to spend lots of Chaos just to roll this map. 59, that's terrible. 98, no Life Regen. It's a pretty good map. It's about 100%. Um, for the 77 maps, I, I try to get a, quite a bit higher on the quantity. Now, when I roll this map, let's say I, I didn't like, I didn't like um, the immune to curses, and my build is around curses. I probably would still not re-roll this because the fact is I've used two chaos at this point. How many more am I going to have to use to get a map that I like? You know, rolling maps is all about what you're willing to sacrifice to to run these higher level maps. Two chaos for that is great. I am okay with that. I'm happy with that. In fact, the two chaos plus the chisels and the alk, really, really around three to four chaos. I can make this back, that money back very easily in two ways. First of all, uh, the items that drop in here are going to sell for four chaos or more easily. Uh, with that said, the eye level of the white items are also going to sell because people are trying to craft with them. And then the third thing, or I guess the second part, would be that uh, so many people are trying to get into these 77 maps, and a lot of people don't even have these maps. And so they're very much willing to pay you just to be in your party and go with you in these maps. And so what I've seen is as high as 10 chaos uh, for someone to join a map, and I've seen as low as about five. So put that into perspective, you just use two chaos or three or four, I guess, Let's say you used four chaos to roll this map, and you have um, four people join your group. Okay, you just made 40 chaos minus four. You made 36 chaos, which is about an exalt and a half, or close to that. Maybe it's an exalt and a third. Um, that that's great. Um, actually, that's not an exalt and a third. That's an exalt and two thirds, really. So almost two exalts you made. Uh, just by having people run this map with you. So I would encourage you not to roll these high-level maps by yourself. Jump in a party, and then even furthermore, with with a party, you're less likely to die as well. Now, last thing you can do, I mentioned this in another video, if you don't want to roll these maps, I would sell them before you roll them, because uh, these high-level maps can sell for one to three exalts. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys out. Again, I'm going to put in the description a link to a map guide uh, that somebody's put a lot of work into. Uh, I can't remember his name, but it's a great guide. It lists all the mods for you and um, can help you kind of figure out uh, which ones are best for you. Uh, again, don't be afraid to spend currency on these lower ones, but on the higher ones, just be very frugal with what you spend because you're trying to increase your wealth, uh, not spend it all on just trying to get that perfect map. So anyway, thank you guys for watching so much, and I wish you guys the very best. See ya.